Don't you hate it when you first press the play button and you try to sync your audio up to it and you accidentally hit the cans? But anyhow, how are you? It's, hold up. <laughs> Palette feels a bit muddy. Ew, psych, no it doesn't. Not muddy, that's pretty disgusting if your mouth feels muddy, right? So I'll take that back. I renege on those situations and postures and delegations. However, the palate is now clean, folks. It's Beer Drink with another craft beer review. Reformation Brewing Company out of Woodstock, Georgia. This is Alani, folks. Alani the Lighthearted. Trust me, you can dance has a hashtag on there. Set beer free. 4.7%. A hybrid ale with grape musk, cranberry, and hibiscus. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and crack one of these things up. Quick. Give you a spin around of the can, because I've been forgetting to give you motherfuckers a spin around. So we're going to go ahead and give it an old Booker T special. Five time, five time, five time. World champion. Hit him with the spin a -rooney. What we have here is a Alani, the lighthearted, rose ale, a hybrid ale with grape must, cranberry, and hibiscus, in which I've already said, Reformation Brewery. Woodstock, Georgia, 4.7 alcohol by volume, an independent brewing association uh, uh, participant. Definitely a good looking can. That is like a can to wear, I would wear it on a t-shirt. Imagine having a white t-shirt. Look, I'm giving y'all Jim's Reformation Brewery, Reformation Brewery, straight white t-shirt, black band across the middle. Reformation red R right there. Don't even put a Lonnie, but you could put a Lonnie right below it. Below that, have the whole bottom of the white t-shirt banded around with this dope ass band that y'all have around this can. I would rock that shit anywhere that I could or can. Go, not a go, sir. Boop. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this beer review. Pop that thing. Boop. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a very light hearted and shout out to New Belgium, New Belgium glass. I gotta get some Reformation. Ooh, I'm liking that shit. I didn't think that it would be red to be honest, but it rose, duh, rose is fucking rose colors. Even though it ain't rose gold or anything like that. It's not as light as a rose gold, but it, you, know the, you know the color of rose. So that was kind of stupid of me to even say that so it definitely should be a around this color that's a beautiful color looks like a filtered beer very light bubble no actually it's a bunch of bubbles streaming up like the salmon they're very small stuck together it's almost like a fucking typhoon going up or is it typhoon or is it tycoon are y'all are y'all tell me this Reform reformation brewing company are y'all a typhoon in the beer industry are you a tycoon in the beer industry? That's what we want to know. Because you know what? Reformation Brewing Company is based in Woodstock, Georgia. And I actually lived about 10 minutes away from Woodstock, Georgia and did had no idea of the brewer brewery. I definitely would have frequented there or visited there multiple times, at least two times a week, had I known about them while I was up that way when I lived in uh, Ackworth, Georgia. But so far, so good. This is the second or third. This is the second beer i believe that i've had from reformation brewing company the first one was not going to remember it but it was definitely a great beer because i remember i remember i remember the review but i cannot put my my finger on the name of that beer i've yet to have a beer from them until now reformation brewery is in woodstock georgia so i went ahead and picked up a six pack of cadence belgian style ale 6.9 alcohol by volume on a scale of zero to five it's a four Point three. Why 4.3? Why not a 4.5? Because a 4.5 is a 4.5 and I'm alive. So why not? A three means more for me, more for you, as well as who are you? I rhyme you with you. <laughs> but I know that it was definitely a good beer. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this Alani. Trust me, you can dance. No, everyone can't dance. So I'm not trusting anything. Just like that. Oh, just and you saying putting all this trust in me saying that i can dance you don't know me reformation brewing company i may be elaine bennis we were dining we were dancing <laughs> what it's, it's dancing no that ain't dancing sally i dance fine you stink uh, uh, please, please. Not in my home. <laughs> I gotta throw this stuff in the laundry. I'll be right back. <laughs> Throwing those weird kicks with the with the weird shimmy sham Jimmy Jimmy Changas. But we're gonna go ahead and put a nose. This is gonna be sour. You ever smell the beer and can just tell it's gonna be sour? Most of the time, of course, whenever it's this color, you definitely think it's gonna be sour. I can't really pinpoint the smell of hi, uh, hibiscus. 
This does remind me of Hot Biscuits. And if I remember right, Hot Biscuits does remind you in smellizations of Hot Biscuits. So I think they hit the nose right out of the head. Great must. And that's the thing that you do get from as far as the sourness. Oh, I know it's going to be a great beer. I guess you do get the grape from this beer. Grape must not sure about that i didn't i didn't never even known that there was a such thing as a gray deodorant but we're gonna go ahead and get into this the cranberry that's what it is i, I was I, I immediately drank it immediately thought of truthfully a rose but i'm not a fan of the rose i'm not a fan of uh what do you call the shit that all the I'm not gonna remember the bitches it's crazy I can't remember but uh. this shit is delicious not brewed with lactose folks and that's the thing that's kind of throwing me off for how smooth this thing is going down. It's only 4.7 alcohol by volume, about five, so pretty much the same alcohol content that you're going to get in a light beer, a Miller Light, a Coors Light, a Bud Light, a uh, Budweiser, or whatever, some shit. Budweiser isn't light, but some shit like that. You're getting the same alcohol content, and truthfully, a little bit more than some of your light beers, but this shit goes down real light, really, really fucking light, but it's very flavorful, a bit sour on the front, but the sourness goes away. That's the only thing that I don't like about few sours out there is if not sour enough. And the same deal with this. I don't think it's sour enough, but the cranberry, hibiscus to the nose, the grape. Like, I don't know what grape must means, but I do. You definitely get grape. Like, if you drink a Concord grape juice, I know that may be a dumb thing to say, but I'm just going off the hip because that's what I do in my beer reviews. I don't have to fucking go to the websites and look up every intricate ingredient that they use for it i go off the nose and i go off my taste you definitely taste that purple concord grape and i don't even know if they use concord concord yeah i don't i'm not sure if that's what they use however you get the grape you get the cranberry hibiscus i don't remember how hibiscus tastes smells but it does remind me of hot biscuits this is a delicious rose ale once again uh, finally a beer brewed without lactose but e even if it is brewed with lactose it is what it is if it's brewed with lactose shit i guess that my palates and tastingizations and and mortuaries have all aligned up at the speed of all calculations like texas instruments ever heard of that if it is indeed brewed with lactose i mean that's just a pat on my back barry horowitz but if not, y'all have a smooth as hell beer. And my thing, I'll keep almost calling it a Goza. I'm not sure if this would even fall under, but it's called a Rose Ale. And I've never had a Rose Ale, but this is delicious. And if this is my introduction to the Rose Ale, I guess from now on, <laughs> I'm going to be looking for the Rose Ale because this beer right here from Reformation did not fail. This shit is delicious as fuck, and I'm definitely going to drink another one. <sighs> yeah, let me get, pop another one right now, immediately. Clean Rocket go ahead and pour this thing real quick but i'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a rate reformation brewing companies the light-hearted rose ale 4.7 alcohol by volume you know what fuck it y'all can dance shout out for reformation i didn't give it a rating yet damn on a scale of zero to five i give reformation to lani the light heart it's an easy four and a half this was this is one of the most drinkable if you want to call it a sour, call it a sour, but they call it a rose ale. Never had one before. Fuck it. I'm looking too deep into the names and the, in the, like how people do. I'm looking too, I'm looking too deep in the label. This is a very drinkable beer. Very smooth. Sour to the front. By the midsection, that sourness is sayonara. Bayonara, ever heard of it? But definitely a drinkable beer very tasty this is one that you could drink any time of the day if it's hot as fuck outside and you're me and you're poolside because you're not getting in that bitch because i can't swim this is a delicious beer for you definitely try this out and i will be making that tread out to fucking woodstock georgia to reformation brewing company hopefully they got something in the fucking works that i can like try out that's not out or some shit you know what i'm saying a little exclusive shit some shit like that is what it is what it was gonna be definitely gonna yeah this shit's delicious 
four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five all day long. Almost buttery as it goes down. Like a, <coughs> I'll say it real quick. On the scale of tartness, on the scale of sourness, from zero to five, I'm not going to front on it. It's sour, but it's a two in sourness. Because as you're gulping it, it's sour, but as soon as you it goes down, the sourness is going away. But I would still classify this as a sour beer. Just not sour enough, but to be totally honest, maybe they weren't going to be, maybe they weren't going for being, blah, blah. maybe they weren't trying to be the most sour beer on the block. It's just delicious. I love it a lot. <laughs> uh. Reformation Brewing Company. Nick Diaz won that fight. 